Hello, and welcome back to this new SOLIDWORKS Composer tutorial series. As I mentioned last video, today we're going to be talking about using the Explode View tools and the Translate tools to create more detailed views. So what exactly do each of these tools do? Displayed in the viewport, I have our bench grinder from last video. We're going to translate the right side of the piece. After we select it, the Translate tool will move all selected pieces in the direction we specify. So we select it, and you can see that using the axes, we can move it up and down, left and right, in and out, and by grabbing the blue sphere, we can move it around freely. Now let's just return this to its original position by pressing Ctrl Z. The difference between the Translate and the Explode tools is that while the Translate moves all selected pieces the same distance, the Explode tool will move selected pieces different distances as to separate them from each other and give a better sense of how they come together to form the larger part. So let's try exploding this piece. You can see in the top, I selected the Linear Explode tool and that I moved the piece to the left to prepare it for a rightward exploded view. Now, we just need to explode it out by grabbing one of these axes. It's important to note that we need an anchor when we do an explode. The anchor will remain static while the other pieces move. So if we decide to explode our piece to the right, the leftmost piece will remain static. So this explode view gives us a good sense of how these various smaller pieces come together to form the bench grinder. Still, this view is a little bit cluttered. With more complicated assemblies, it works well to segment the piece into smaller sections and to perform explodes on those. That ends part one of the second installment in this new Composer series. Be sure to check in for the second part, where we will use these tools to create an exploded view of our own. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the blog and forums in the description for more fantastic Composer content. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.